Now let's move on to 2.7. I'm going to remove all of this, all of this hard work, and we're going to clear this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, print the old way. Uh, actually, no, no. We'll just do all of this with the string class. How does that sound? It sounds exciting, doesn't it? So we're going to be using string methods and constructors. I know, they have methods and constructors for strings. And this stuff includes um, cutting out specific parts of the string, finding the length of the string, finding where a certain letter is, comparing our strings, uh, seeing if they're equal to one another, all of that fun stuff. Now on the AP exam, uh, if it's still up to date, it will give you a reference sheet, um, and that's going to tell you what all of them do. Now you need to know how all of these constructors and methods work. So that's what I'm going to do in this video for 2.7. Okay, so let's write a string. We're going to call it dab. We're going to make a little family. We're going to do new string, Harry. We're just going to use the stuff we learned in 2.6. And we'll do uh, a mom string. So we'll do string mom equals new string. Stephanie will be her name. You can name her whatever you want. Then we'll do... It's Okay, I'm just going to undent all these because it's really being a biscuit. So then we're going to do string brothers. going to be equal to new string. Thomas will be brother's name. And then what should sister's name be? I think I know what sister's name should be. Sister's name should be Kira with an E before I to make everyone mad, especially if you're an English teacher. All right, so we have our, our family now. Yay! Now let's print out – we'll use our – first string method so let's print out the length of dad's name so all we're gonna do is when we print this out we're gonna do dad dot length and then a pair of parentheses because it is a method uh so we're gonna do system dot to print line length of dad and it's gonna be plus dad dot length so when we print this out it's gonna say length of dad and then five because dad is five characters there we go now, if we add a space after the Y here, is it going to be five characters? No, it's going to be six characters because within our closed quotations, it's going to count the number of characters. So we have six characters. We can actually store this as an integer as well. So we could do integer L equals dad dot length. Um, that works as well. You could print L, um, but I'm not going to do that because that's a lot of work, and I don't need to store the variable. I could just print it out so easily. Uh, so yeah, that's one uh, string method. Another one is going to be index of. So let's show you that one. So let's see, is uh, is there many? Uh, how let's do how many e's? Uh, we'll just do e. Is in brother's name. Should cap brother be capitalized? No, brother's name. Okay, so let's find how many e's are in brother's name. So what we're going to do is so we're going to do brother dot index of, and then we're going to put e small e in quotations and if we look for large e we look for rg but there's probably gonna be more small e's if there is any at all so let's do this let's run this we're gonna still see dad uh dad's length uh name <laughs> uh and we're gonna see how many e's are in brother's name now there is no e's in thomas no lowercase e's because it's looking for lowercase e's so it's gonna return uh minus one so that's just something to keep note of now let's do someone who does have e now how many e's are in mother's name. That's very formal. So let's do mom dot index of, and we'll do lowercase e again. So when we run this, it's gonna count. Okay, so we see one e here and one e at the end. So it's gonna print out two e's in mother's name, and it's not printing it out. Let me clear this and try this again. Da 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 da. da. Come on, code. You got this. It's not going to work, is it? Your program is always running. Here we go. How many is your mother's name? Two. So there we go. It works. Yay. Exciting. Okay. Now let's do a substring. A substring is just a sub part of the string. It's going to be a certain part of the string. Not all of it, just some of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put dad's name back to the characters, back to five uh, length. So we're just going to do that. So we're going to do system.println. Uh, and we're just going to print uh, the end of dad's name so we're gonna do dad dot substring this is all lowercase and let's start at character number three now is character number three the first r or the second r why would it be the second r well programming languages are really 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 weird uh and java is one language that counts the first character as element zero so this h 
is going to be element zero. Really weird, I know. So this is going to be the second R is where it's going to start. So zero is H, one is A, two is R, three is R. And since it's a substring, it's going to start at R and then print out the rest of it because there's only one parameter. So it's going to print out R Y. Very, very interesting. Now, what if we wanted to print out the start of a name? We don't want to print out the whole name. So we have to use two parameters and two arguments. So let's do start of brother's name. So we're going to do brother.substring. And let's start at 0, and we'll just print 2. So we'll just do 0, 1. So it's going to print out the first character, which is really element 0. And then the to the first character, um, it's not going to do that because I spelled system wrong. Uh-oh. So system.out.println, now it's going to print out the substring, yay, t. And it's not going to print out 1, it's going to stop at the h. So with that second argument, it's not going to print it out. So if I say 0, 2, it'll print out th, but not the o. If I said 0, 3, it'll say th, o, but not the m. Yeah, I know, weird, weird. I really recommend just experimenting with all of these. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do the middle of sister's name. Kira's name. That was weird. Okay. So we'll do sister.substring and let's just do one and what should we stop at? Let's do three. Actually, let's do four because it's not going to print out the fourth one. So now it should print out E I R. Will it? Maybe. Yes, it will. Ha ha ha. Awesome. Um, let's do, we could do also, instead of 4, we could do just 3 plus 1, so if you want to just do that for whatever reason, maybe you're doing a loop or something, or a method, uh, you could do 1, and then 3 plus 1. It does the same thing as well. It'll do the math for you. So that's good to know. And what, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to compare, uh, for this little section. We're going to still do more of this video. So let's do compare mom to sister. So we're going to do mom dot compare to... Uh, two is capitalized at C, and then we'll just do sister. So we're going to compare a whole variable there. Yay. So it's going to look for differences. And how many differences are there? There's eight differences. So it's going to look. Is the first letter the same? No. There's no other letter in the same place that's the same. The second character is different. The third character is different. The fourth character is different. The fifth character is different. And hey, all the other characters are different. <sighs> Who would have guessed? Okay, that's crazy. What if we did sister dot compare to mom? Let's try that actually. What's it going to do? Is it gonna print out eight as well? I don't think it will. No, it's gonna print out negative eight because sister's name is smaller, so it's gonna print out a negative eight. Okay, let's do a new string. We're gonna call it friend, um, and it'll also be named Kira. So it's not going to be. It's not going to be sister. It's just gonna be. Um, the same name as sister, not friend, friend. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're going to you do the compare to method again. So we're gonna do compare sister to friend. And we're gonna do plus. Uh, let's do sister dot compare to, and then we'll do friend as our argument. Now since they are the exactly the same, there's no spaces in there. It's going to print out zero because there's no differences. Zero. Differences. We had a space at the start of friend's name, so space Kira. Um, or if it was a lowercase k, it would um, also say there was a difference. And now it's going to say 43. There's a there's some differences going on there. Uh, so yeah. And then let's do let's do one more. So let's do system dot out dot print line uh, friend. I'm not even going to write the uh, string. We'll just do friend dot equals sister. So if it's the same, uh, what's it going to do? Since uh, Kira and Kira, same letters, same capitalization, is equal to another, it's going to print out true. So it's going to print out a Boolean. If we did mom dot equals sister, they're not the same. So it's going to print out false. Awesome. Very, very cool. And that's the end of 2.7. So, yeah. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It's free. And it really does help me out. I have more AP Computer Science videos. If you want to go check those out, uh, they're really, really helpful and all of that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.